Hey everyone, Angelo here, Hollywood filmmaker whose car keeps getting destroyed. And my 2000 Toyota Camry still staying on the street, sitting on the street. I called the tow company, they said, yeah, the tow driver's gonna try and be here by five. If not, they'll be here Monday, which means I could potentially get a ticket to the freaking city of LA. Um, I did get a ticket for the my car that had the battery stolen. I showed everything, the text messages with the tow company, the tow reservation number, the uh, insurance claim, pictures of the car, video of the car. Eh, they still wouldn't remove the ticket. Now, good thing is about having money, I can afford it. The ticket's um, really designed to punish poor people. And uh, I'm not saying that in like a bragging way. I've been poor a lot. I'm just saying it's kind of ridiculous. Like if you have money, yeah, it's no big deal. If you're poor, it's a horrible thing. So this is the rental car I got. Um, it's called the uh, Mini Cooper um, Garbage or is it the mini cooper mini cooper uh excrement what's it called mini cooper countryman so this car is such freaking junk i had to show this off so okay not real clear what what is this thing here okay that's the locket the middle button this is to unlock it okay that's simple enough kind of not ergonomic design not easy to press right on the, the edge so I'm not going to demonstrate driving this piece of excrement the thing you should know about it is first of all not much visibility in that mirror we, we don't want like visibility that's, you know, a standard, boring, blasé American thing. We want interesting European style of visibility where you just kind of, you got the kind of like uh, 50s, like horn glasses or horn rim glasses, whatever style. Like it's just kind of interesting, you know, it's not really like functional, but it's neat. So you got a couple pieces of um, garbage here. For one thing, this obnoxious thing. Oh, you want a gear shifter where you can feel what position it is in? You're not going to get that. You want a parking brake where you can feel if it's on or not? Nope. You're going to, okay, do that. And you just press that. And if you want it on, okay, is it on? I don't know. Oh, it is on. Oh, uh, okay. This shit. Okay. Down, up. Is it? Oh, it's in it's neutral. I didn't make it to drive that time. Uh, reverse. And parking it. And the scary thing about parking it, it doesn't feel like parking it because you don't put the shift, the stick shift all the way up. Not stick shift. The uh, shifter all the way up. Now, take a look at this obnoxious, oh, retro, cool, the circle. We're going to hear everybody. I'm going to showcase the circle of shame that this uh, car has. So, you want to adjust the radio? Fuck you, you're going to adjust the radio. Okay, let me, uh, how do I, what, okay. Turn the radio down. It's in park. Can't fucking see a goddamn thing on the radio. Um, see that? Oh, okay. And you got to touch these buttons, and if you're driving, you can't tell what's what, whether it's left or right. But here's how it normally goes. It starts up here. I don't know why it starts here if I want manual adjusting. The stations that are preset, okay, you want to go adjust manually. One time I accidentally, I skipped past the manual search here and I just hit this again. No fucking idea how to get back to manual search. You're done. You're done. You will never figure it out. Uh, back, Troubleman. Um, what do you do? Mode? Nothing. Band? Uh, that's not going to help. Uh, uh, oh, we're in FM again. Hey, we're talking. And do you want to just spin the wheel to find a station? Nope, you're not going to do that. Oh, I didn't even know about this. Great job, Mini Cooper excrement. If you want to just scroll through each station, you can't press the buttons, which are just a flat panel here. And so you don't really, you're not really sure touch in the middle and which one are you pressing? I swear I pressed here on the left side and it would made the stations go up this morning and then right down. 
it's tricking me because now I can see it. Now it knows I'm filming and so it's doing it the right way. But now I see, oh, you can actually go station by station. Oh, and you can touch this bullshit too. So yeah, see here, you're driving. Can't just touch a knob and spin it. No, you got to look over. Uh, no, that's not quite the right station. That's not quite. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ooh. Ridiculous garbage. Again, you try and find the say you skip past manual search by accident. What in the hell are you supposed to do? Oh, I see this now. Oh, that's not so. Okay, good. It took me a few minutes of investigating because you wouldn't want it to be simple. You don't want again boring old American or Japanese uh, style scrolling through stations. You want custom like European. No, you want from an alien planet um, station scrolling. So. If you're driving, you accidentally go too far, oh, just, no problem. Just keep, like, one eye on the road, one hand on the steering wheel, and look here. Oh, wait for the, the animation. You like the animation? Isn't that nice in a car, having lots of animated bullshit on your screen? Then do manual search. Then touch this horse shit. Then swing this ass, ass around. And you kind of guess when you're driving, like, am I moving it to the left or right? Am I pressing the presets? Uh, okay, how do I... Oh, what the fuck? Um, how do I switch? Now it won't even scroll through stations. It just scrolls through favorites. Uh, go back to manual. Uh, go up. There. Isn't that easy? This crap. Ugh, my farts stink. So... All in all, oh, and here's the worst part. So, <laughs> this car, it has a feature where, like a lot of newer cars, it shuts off the engine when as the s instant you stop the car, you brake to a stop, even if it's for only a quarter of a second to save gas. And as Scotty Kilmer explains, that's bad for the engine because then the oil and like all the lubrication like dr drains down. And then when it starts up again, the engine is starting more, you know, the more times an engine starts, the more damage it does to it. It's cooling and heating up. The lubrication goes away and then it gets the oil splashing around again and then it lubricates everything. So uh, good job there on your little fad uh, to reduce gas mileage. But uh, when it stops... This is this is the most unbelievable shit. It blows my mind how bad car design has gone. It's stepped so far backwards. When I stop, I, I get nervous when I stop when I'm at a like a curb and I'm trying to turn right and their car is coming left because when I hit the gas, nothing happens for about a second. And then it screeches forward. There's no way to just accelerate smoothly. It's you wait, you hit the gas, you wait, and then what if you have to stop suddenly? It's like, oh, you're already peeling out a little bit. Then you have to stop. Like, suddenly, if a car is coming quickly. Whereas, in a regular car, you can control how, where you're going. It's a little hard to explain without seeing it. But again, picture me stopped here. If I'm on the street, just driving like at a stop sign, I hit the gas, nothing happens for about a second, the engine kicks on, then it will not, it doesn't matter if I got the gas down part of the way or what, it will jump forward, like lurch, like jerk forward. And then, uh, like, so then you can sort of go to a normal speed, but also the power is just all funky and weird on this car. Um, it is so bizarre. Only thing good about it, it's small, but I take that back in a way because uh they put all this effort into this obnoxious design like oh it's just, isn't it cool i don't care if my cool, car looks cool i want ordinary dials i like dials i mean like physical dials jesus christ does anybody at mini cooper have their head out of their ass is this easy to you compared to just turning a knob Okay, go here. Uh, no, 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 wait, go back. Oh, shit, I missed the manual. Set. Oh, I now this one, I really don't know how to go back. Wait, do I hit this? Nope. Oh, yes. Okay, but then you got to go to another thing. And then another, so you're hitting how many buttons to go to manual, to manual search from here? Okay, one, two, three, three buttons. Pretty easy. Well, <laughs> Mini Cooper Engineers. What is wrong with you? 
Do you understand human beings use this? Not uh, aliens from Voltron 6 who have six arms and uh, four sets of eyes on each elbow. Jesus Christ, you guys are idiots. Hey, what, what's what's this shit? What, why do you have buttons here? I thought buttons don't work anymore. They got the fake retro stuff here. Wh- why the buttons? I don't get it. You don't like buttons. Put everything in this cluster fuck right here. All this stuff, put it here. All this stuff, put it there. Windshield wipers, the trunk, the the lights up here. Sunroof, by the way, you don't get an actual roof. Like, you're always going to have the sun beaming down on you. That's great. This car has 2,558 miles on it. 2,558 miles on it. It already drives like junk because it jerks forward like there's something wrong with the transmission and it's slipping. Good job. Everybody give it up for Mini Cooper. All right. Mini Cooper. We got our heads so far up our asses, we convinced ourselves that all our uh, ribs are actually arms that we can uh, reach out and touch the different parts of the car on. And this damn stick shift. Why? Why bother? Why effing bother? I don't know why I'm censoring myself now. I don't even know what this garbage is. Forget that. I'm not touching that. Hey, this is nice. So when the computer parts wear out or when something wears out, it's a lot harder to fix than just a cable. This is nice because it makes it easy to switch your car into the wrong gear. Like, you don't want, like, ordinary, conventional, boring uh, gear shifter. You want exciting, deluxe, exotic, unpredictable fucking gear shifters. I swear, we need a mass movement to stop this garbage. Stop this nonsense. Jeez. Uh, Anyway, so I don't know what the status of my Toyota Camry is going to be. Oh, my goodness. Got to get it towed. Um, waiting for it to get towed. It's going to get towed to salvage yard. Um, I saw in the email from my insurance adjuster, even, I don't know, I guess even if it's considered a total loss, I might have an option of getting it fixed with the deductible. I wasn't real clear on that. It said that was an option in there, but I'll wait until the inspection and the estimate of it. Cause the damage alone, I'm sure it's going to be more than the car is worth, but I don't know. I really like that car. The engine is fantastic. It's in great shape. Um, Runs better than this car. Uh, That 185,000 miles on my 2000 Toyota Camry, and it runs better than this brand new Mini Cooper uh, Excrement Countryman. So, please let car just don't buy this stuff please don't be fooled for it oh it's a cool looking car it's nice i guess the dealer will take care of you know any problems we got the warranty don't fall for this stuff you don't need this garbage get a used toyota or honda there's some other older used cars that are reliable older chevys gmc's whatever a lot of older cars are more reliable but they're old too so stuff's wearing out anyways I've had enough of this crap. Um, this It kind of looks like a toilet bowl right here, actually. That's a good thing to remind me of. Yeah, put all this money and effort into the design, and oh, that's what you get. You get a big old bowel movement right there in the middle of the bowl. Three buttons just to go scroll through stations? Or You wouldn't call it scroll if it wasn't a computer. What's it called? Like, just spin through stations? But this is pathetic. Mini Cooper, I don't know what you people are thinking. Get your heads out of your asses. Design cars that people are supposed to use. And that goes for all you car makers out there. You're not off the hook. Even Toyota, I bet you do this stuff. So, I don't even think we can reason with them. We can't. Uh, we just have to stop buying them and make them all cry and whine and be like, eh, no, why can't we do this? Okay, let's pay our workers 40 cents a day and uh, collect our $9 million bonuses and leave. Oh, well, they won't be that sad. They'll be like, fuck it. We're happy. We don't care. We'll switch to some other, uh, you know, crappy uh, experience we'll sell to people. All right, I can't believe I've been doing this for 15 minutes. This car isn't even worth 15 seconds on the toilet.